Hey, welcome back to one more episode in JSPN Sublet Advanced Project. You are building a cinema ticket booking project in JSP. In this video, we are going to create our class and objects for our cinema ticket booking project in JSP. So for that, we must use in Java. And actually, what does a class do? Actually, a class defines the properties and behaviors for objects. So let's uh, go back to our ID and uh, do our jobs. Here, this is our old project, is cinematic booking projects that we are working on. And here we created many more packages as our needs. So I'm going to create our class for our table that we created in last videos in our database. Let's check our database table first. So here we created uh, three tables. One is admin table. One is a movie table and another one is user table. In admin table, we have some field here. You can see this ID, name, email, password, date of birth, gender, and role. In user table, we have the same but uh, without the role. And in movie table, uh, we have few columns here. Here is one is ID, name, director, name, the release date, cast, um, description, poster, duration, and trailer link. And one more thing we missed here is we forget to include the category for the movie. So let's uh, do this first. So let me click on movie table. And here is uh, we have two options. We can create a category in a separate table, or we can add one more field in movie table. So I'm going to add uh, the category column here and going to create one more table for the category. So name it uh, category and uh, it should be an integer type because uh, I'm going to store the category ID here and it should not be null and uh, just apply here. And uh, this uh, category will be the foreign key with the category table so let's uh, create one more table here and uh, this one must be the cid category id and it's integer primary key not null and auto increment and here on should be the category name so name it's a worker it's not primary key and uh, it should not be null and here you can show the description you can write some description for your category it's a description and make it uh, 450 and uh, not now okay apply and now go back to your movie table and just uh, click on foreign key and name the constraint is cid i mean the category ID and reference table is uh, it should be the category table i forget to rename it so just uh, do this settings and name it to category and apply here okay we're done so click on uh, foreign key and uh, name it to cid foreign key name and reference table is um, category and uh, is a category id to cid and uh, on update casket on delete casket so then click on apply okay great our foreign key has been created you can see it marked in red color so okay that's done and let's uh, go back to our model class and uh, right click your model package and click on new java class and uh, so let's uh, name it category first click on finish in category, we have uh, three properties. Is first one is integer is ID and um, private string. Second one is the name, category name, and third one is description. And we'll create constructor for our uh, properties. So click on insert code and one default constructor without any argument. 
and uh, another two is uh, parameterized constructor selecting all element and third one is without the id we create uh, this uh, constructor okay that's great and now we insert our getters in setter to access these uh, properties and one more method is to string method for checking this class and just click on save now right click your model class and create one more java class for movie click on finish same way we will uh, create our uh, movie properties here okay so private id private would I have a name let's uh, me, me copy here and just uh, paste it here multiple times and we'll rename it no problem then director then description then have a release date poster name poster name then trailer link trailer link final one is the category okay let's me check the format of the date in our table database table so release that we made it a backer so okay no problem so how many columns we have we have 10 rows sorry we got eight so which one is list let's check it out so we had duration list and cast list so it should be cast casts and uh, one is the duration that's all our necessary fields we record and then in the same way we will create our constructor getters and setter to string method so let's do that one default constructor constructor including all fields and constructor without the id and then getters and setters for all field and one to string method for debugging okay that's all and save it and now think something in object oriented you can see in our user class uh, we have the similar column for our admin and user so we have the similar column for admin and user so let's have uh, the think uh, admin and user as a person so i'm going to create a class name it a person click on finish okay i think about it a person should have a name person should have a name paste it few more times okay, sorry a person should have a name a person should have gender a person should have date of birth dob okay hmm. This three field is okay i think so so you, because we don't want to share the sensitive information and now create the constructor and set code select all and getters and setters now save it and now we are going to create our uh, user class so name it user and finish and this user class extends to person class and now you can see add the constructor and their all value super class so user should have a id it is a id and user should have email string email password and the hotels with user so email password email password and you an id okay correct so now create those constructor super class as the constructor and here we are going to insert our default constructor and in person class also we forget to create our default constructor just click on generate just click on set and um, and we will create our constructor using the super class including all all field and then your super constructor and his uh, integer and okay and uh, getters and setters getters and setters select all and getters and setters and twisting method it's okay so in these twisting method uh, we we are not getting the information from the user uh, name user uh, name gender and dob 
so what we can do here we can create uh, or we can override this method or uh, you can see that when you click on overrides we can click all method from our person class or we can use those as inheritance in our in our um, person class so we don't need to override this method but here we need to uh, create one uh, twisting method here we can override insert code and click on override and you can see that we had twisting method you can see super twisting and in this twisting method we can add our twisting method so let's uh, do this initially okay we will add those fill in later so now we'll go back and uh, create for admin class for admin and it's um, as usual user class and just uh, copy those paste here but here is one extra thing is it's uh, there is a role so, and it's uh, extend to person class and here you can insert those code this constructor without uh, any parameter constructor including the id and the constructor without the id and insert code getters and setters okay that's uh, all for our model class so this video is uh, everything about uh, uh, define classes models and objects and uh, i mean method overriding constructor uh, implementation so that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, please do subscribe on my channel and turn on notification to get notification once i upload next video so see you in next video